Good morning. Today we will see one microprocessor lab set program that is program number one. Search a key element in a list of n numbers using binary search algorithm. So before starting with the microprocessor program, we will see first the normal algorithm how exactly binary search algorithm works. So it's a basically divide and conquer strategy where we will divide the array into smaller parts then we will process the search operation till it becomes small it keeps on dividing the problem later merge all the solutions so it's like a divide and conquer strategy so here first we will initialize low equal to 1 high equal to n then while low is less than or equal to high so we will enter into the algorithm now first we will calculate the mid value so how to calculate mid value low plus high divided by 2 so after calculating the mid value we will compare our key element so key element means whichever we want to search that key element should be compared with mid value so if key element equal to equal to our mid value then key is for exit else if key is greater than mid element that means what if my key element is right part okay after mid one is you can consider it as a left part and one is considered to be right part so if key is greater than mid means the key element should be there in right part okay so that time low value become mid plus one that means we need to search from mid plus one to high otherwise means if key is less than mid so that means our key element may be in left part so then high will become what mid minus one that means we need to search from low to mid minus one okay so these are the three steps that means first we need to find out the mid value by using low plus high divided by two then we'll use to search that mid element with respect to key so if key equal to equal to mid then found exit else if key is greater than mid means you have to set low equal to mid plus one else i equal to mid minus one okay this is the algorithm for uh, binary search right so this is one memory allocation how i am storing the elements okay so as i have declared word wise so one word means two bytes that means we are storing elements one two three four in two parts one two stored in the base address 2000 then three four stored in 2001 similarly five six and seven eight see one more important thing is binary search will always works for sorted numbers okay so be careful while giving the inputs always input should be in sorted harder so as they are word so each word will take two bytes okay so this is the uh, memory allocation how our elements are arranged right now we'll go through the program first we'll begin with the program with dot model small statement here small will reserve the one code segment and one data segment then dot data here we can initialize the required variables so here a is our uh, array to store our elements array dw this is the assembler directive to declare the define word so then here we'll uh, initialize some elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 6 2 5 2 7 6 1 7 8 2 1 3 h h stands for hexadecimal number remember the numbers are in ascending order here okay so now n is number of elements n eqv5 eqv is also an assembler directive which actually equates to 5 this is like your has defined in your c language okay then we'll initialize key element is key element dw 1 2 3 4 h this is what the element we need to search that is the key element then we will initialize two messages one for key is found and one for key is not found see these are the strings we need to attach dollar symbol at the 
end of the string. This dollar indicates end of the string. And 10 and 13 is your slash n in your C language. That means this 10 and 13 are the ASCII values for carriage return and enter. Okay, it will just simply print in the next line. That's all. Next, we'll begin with code section. So here, move ax at data, move ds, comma ax. So here at data, the data section address moved to ax register, then from ax register to data segment. As we don't have direct memory to memory data transfer instruction, what I'll do is first I'll take ax register as an intermediate register, then I'll move my data segment address to ax, then ax to data segment. Okay, we are using two statement instead of one statement. Okay, next move ax comma key that means key element should move to ax now then we'll initialize low and high values move cx comma zero low value here is zero then move dx comma n minus one so this is the high value n is five means if it is because it is starting from zero so we can uh, always minus one that is n minus one that is four will be moved to dx right so next loop one compare cx comma dx that means first we need to compare low and high value so whenever low is greater than high value that means we can easily come to the conclusion that element is not formed okay so here we are compa comparing cx and dx that means if cx is greater jump if above not formed that means cx is first value lower value is higher lower value is larger than higher value means go to not found that means what is not found here here not found this is the label okay don't give space not space found it is not like that it is single word label label always be single word now l e a that means load effective address of dx comma message to that means what is message to he is not found okay so this will be the thing. Then move h 0 9 h in 21 h. This move h and 0 9 h. 0 9 h is for displaying a string. Store that interrupt service number in h. Then call the dash interrupt that is in 21 h. Right. Next. So assume that if cx is less than dx, then it will come here. Move bx comma cx. The low value put it in bx. Then add bx and dx add bx and dx means here bx contains what low value then dx contains what high value we'll add both okay in order to calculate the mid value we are adding low plus high then divided by 2 so how to achieve divided by 2 operation in our microprocessor programs so we'll use one small instruction shr bx comma 1 so here bx stored the summation then SHR will always give you the division of 2. So means one right shift, shift right, one shift right will equivalent to divide by 2. Okay, that's why shift right BX comma 1 bit. So we'll shift right 1 bit, it is equivalent to content will be divided by 2. So now BX contains the mid value, low plus I divided by 2. So overall BX contains the mid value. Now that same mid value move to SI pointer. Okay, SI is a pointer. Source index. Then we'll add SI comma SI. See here, why we'll add SI comma SI means here low plus I 0 plus 4 will equal to 4 divided by 2 means you will get 2. So our mid value is now 2. What happens if mid value is 2 means see the memory structure once. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2. So here mid value pointing to 56. So this is not our correct value, right? Actual correct value is what? This 62, that means this location, right? So that's why, that means fourth location, 0, 1, 2, 3, fourth location. That's why here we'll add same content again, add SI comma SI, 2 plus 2. So this will become 4. As this is word operation, we need to add that much quantity to the Yes, I so that it will point to actual mid value. Okay, if it is a byte, means no need to do that, 
it is a word means you need to add that much quantity okay now we'll take first letter si okay so si contains what now bx that means your mid value so first we'll compare mid value with ax ax means key compare key with mid value if it is equal found okay if found means this lea dx comma message one that means message one means key is found message will be displayed load effective address dx comma message one see always whatever the message you want to print that should be pointed by dx register so always you have to use dx only okay jump print then print move h comma 0 9 h in 21 h this is for displaying a string right next so assume that if it is above jump if above that means your key element is greater than the mid value so as i already told you in the algorithm if key value is greater than mid value means it should be in the right side so process now move dx comma bx that means mid value will move to dx then decrement dx that means i will become mid minus 1 right i will become mid minus 1 so jump loop 1 that means again go to loop 1 so where is the loop 1 here here so again you start comparing do the same thing okay if not if not move dx comma bx that means put it in that means we need to have we need to have low equal to mid plus 1 option that means if key is greater than greater than greater than uh, your mid value okay move cx comma bx increment cx that means what bx is mid value should be put it in cx then increment cx that will become low equal to mid plus one so in this part okay in this part ax compare ax comma si means the key element is less than mid value right so that time you have to decrement the mid value that means you put the mid value in dx decrement dx that means you have to compare low to mid minus one if not if it is greater means you have to start from mid plus one to high value that means bx should move to cx then increment the cx this will give you the low equal to mid plus one option okay then jump loop one so loop one here means again you have to start this process same thing you need to repeatedly you need to do it okay so now you need to get uh, terminated first then move h comma 4 ch in 21 h here 4 ch is to terminate the program okay in 21 h call the das interrupt okay thank you